Ick, 97 degrees in June. <sighs> Could be a long summer. Hmm. Looks like the Amish were here before me. Tied their horses to the trees and they proceeded to stomp a donut around the trees. Hit. Yep, and another hitching post. Oof, depression. Hello, thanks for joining me. The wind is relentless. Anyway, I'm tucked into what I hoped was a windbreak here along the river. I am out paddling and doing a little bit of fly fishing, surface fishing with terrestrials for some bluegills and bass. This is a, has some kettles, some glacial kettles along the lake and they're pretty deep and cold and spring fed. And there are some trout deep down, but they pretty much are caught at night. Not so much at high noon here. Or now three o'clock, because they've been out here for three hours. Anyway, caught a few fish. I was gonna have a shore lunch, but Decided I'd eat my sandwich and grapes and save the fish for supper, so I'll have some sup some fish tonight. Anyway, I hope this wind isn't too bad. Every time I find a calm location, it switches around and starts to blow pretty bad. Anyway, I am smoking a country gentleman with Sutliff Serendipity. Yeah, serendipity. It's not a widely known tobacco, I don't think. It is burly. Virginia's Black Cavendish, lots of glycerin, propylene glycol. But it burns. Dry as can be, even though it's soppy and goopy and wet. Um, no tongue bite. It smells of blackberry and lemon and cinnamon. It's like dessert. It's very good if you like a sweet tobacco. And I find I can cut it with some either bright Virginias or red Virginias, unflavored and about 50-50 and still have the blackberry and lemon and cinnamon flavor come through. So somewhat versatile that way too. Anyway, second in the series of gloopy, aromatic tobaccos, I guess. And that's why I have corn cobs, I suppose. So, the fish have not won. I have a few, as I said. Enough for supper. I will paddle out of here, give you some shots of the river. Hopping for some pan fish earlier, and I'm intent on pan fish now down to a 30 inch bass watching rainy, so they're in here.
Hope you enjoyed that. Um, nice stretch. Not too many homes on it. I think there's three, three homes on it. The rest is nestled into a state natural area. Um, it's a very peaceful. Anyway, hope you are doing well. Hope you're taking advantage of the last days of spring. Take care, and perhaps I shall see you again. I need to light a different one. Ah, yes. Take care.